welcome back to Heavy Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some devilish Am I the A-hole pose. And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post four a week every single week. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first post. This says my 33 female, me, 33 female, my daughter's dad, who's 34 male, told my daughter that I don't want her living with me because I have a new husband and my daughter is upset. Yeah, that's pretty freaking terrible. Is that true? Is it true, lady? Let's see what you have to say. So my ex and I agreed that my daughter would be moving in with him after I got married. Why? Why? I can't imagine being without my son. What? Okay. Okay, maybe there's things that I don't know. Let me hold my judgment. It's only one sentence. Let's keep going. My new husband and her have a good relationship, but he doesn't want to be living with kids that aren't his. And you married him. And you married him. He doesn't want to live with your kid, but you decided to bring him into your life. I need to pull it together so I can get through this story. He told me this before we started dating and I said, if we get married, then I would be okay with my daughter staying at her dad's place. It, it, every sentence just makes it worse. Every single sentence just makes it worse. You're, you're, not, you're not justifying your actions here. You're making me realize that you're an even bigger a-hole than I thought you were. Well, two years later and we are married and we'll likely have more kids that you can just send off when you feel like it. My new husband agreed to take her. My new husband agreed to take her. I see her one weekend a month and two weekends a month during the summer. You only see your daughter once a month? Like does not compute. My daughter doesn't want to move because she would have to transfer schools. I told her that's up to her dad. She apparently told her dad to please not take her. He told her he really wants her to come, but that I asked her to take her in since I just got married. I don't think he should have told her that, and this should have been kept under wraps between us. I think your daughter should know the truth and what an awful, self-centered, selfish, nasty woman that you are. Y'all just go ahead and bring them in. Oh my God. Being able to be a mother is such a gift and you're just tossing it away for some guy. And if he can't love your other kid, what makes you think he's gonna really love your new kids? Okay, while it's convenient for him maybe? Y'all, I'm so mad. I'm so disgusted. I wanna virtually pop this lady in her mouth. Absolutely the a-hole. I'm glad your daughter knows the truth. I hope she has a better life with her father because you're awful and you don't deserve her. And I hope you're sterilized after this because you don't deserve to have any other children. That's what I think, but you can let me know what you think in the comments and let's move on before I lose my mind. Okay, next. Am I the a-hole for kicking my sister out after she refused to babysit my son? It kind of sounds like you would be the a-hole if you did that, but Reddit is saying you're not the a-hole, so I'm confused. I, female 30, live with my husband, male 31, and our son, male 5, and my sister, female 22, is still in college and has to move out with us three months ago, has to move out with us three months ago because she had some issues with her roommates. Okay, you mean moved in? Things were going fine until this argument. Also, she doesn't work, but my parents sent her some money for textbooks and groceries, although she barely ever has contributed to the household since she moved in with us. So that was your problem. You should have set ground rules from the start. We also live in a different state from our parents and family, so I'm basically throwing her in the streets by kicking her out, which would make me a big a-hole. What it? So, my son comes back from school at around 3 p.m., 3.30. My husband works until 6 and I work until 5, although sometimes I have to stay an hour or two extra. This is not normal, maybe three or four times per month when we're behind in a project. We had a babysitter that would wait until he's back. He comes home. He comes back home via the school bus and would stay with him until me or my husband came back from work. However, she recently discovered she's sick and told us that she can't continue working as she has to go through treatment. We thanked her for telling us and wish she would get better soon. I asked 
my babysitter to babysit our son until we can get a new babysitter, given that she doesn't have classes at that time. She told me she never agreed to babysit when she moved in here and that I should have told her beforehand so she could find somewhere else to live. I told her that I knew this was an agreement, but this was something exceptional since our babysitter has medical issues. It's not either of our fault and she would prefer a hundred times to not be in that situation. She told me, she still told me she can't babysit it because sometimes she has to go to the library or to study with friends and babysitting would limit her hours of studying. I got angry, maybe too angry. So I told her that we never ask anything from her. We helped her because we wanted to be kind to her and yet she can't even compromise to stay a few hours home just until we find a new babysitter. I ended up telling her she has a week to leave because we will not be providing food or a roof to a B word like her. One of my son's friend's mom is taking care of my son now. They go back to her home together and I pick him up later. My sister tried to apologize, but I told her I don't want to live with her because she showed me her true colors. She also has told our family and a and a lot of them are giving me crap about leaving my sister homeless. My husband, my in-laws, and friends support me, but it feels harsh if my family isn't on my side, making me think I'm an a-hole, to be honest. Edit, it wasn't easy to find another person to take care of my son. I had to take two days from work, which will be taken from my next paycheck. Okay, do I think you're the a-hole? No, I think it's the least your sister can do if she's not paying for anything in the house is to babysit for what, two, three hours tops? He gets home at three, the husband gets home at, oh, it gets off at six, I guess. Does he sit off her home? It doesn't really matter. It's three hours in the middle of your afternoon. It really shouldn't be that big of a deal. And it wasn't permanent. They didn't say, okay, do this forever. They said, can you do this until we find a new babysitter? And you were too self-centered and selfish to just help out your sister who did a really big favor for you and helped you out. No, you sound entitled and it sounds like you've been given a lot in your life and not provided a lot in return to other people. And you're definitely the a-hole. Yeah, definitely the, no, the sister is the a-hole, not the one with the house and the kid, no. The sister, the mooching sister is the a-hole, not the original sister. I want a true thing about that in the comments and let's move on to the next story. Y'all, this next title is already firing me up. Am I the a-hole for telling my friend to lose some weight? Why is that any of your business? Okay, me, 26 male, of course it's a male, and my friend Maddie, 22 female, she's been worried as for why her boyfriend hasn't been affectionate lately. She tells me that he feels unable to go outside to work and interact with friends. He also won't have sex and apparently may have ED. So my friend is very concerned for his health. I think he's fine. He's probably feeling down because to be frank, Maddie is very overweight and unattractive. That's why he's depressed. I'm gonna hold my comments till the end. She even admitted this to herself, as I did most of our, as did most of our friends. It's not unreasonable to, unreasonable to believe he might not be into her at all anymore. I told her that now might be good motivation to lose weight and better her beauty, which would improve their romantic lives and eventually her boyfriend's mental health. Okay, I can't hold it in anymore. I'm sorry, a woman's looks and weight is responsible for a man's mental health? Are you kidding me? Because I wanna vom just listening to that, just having to say it out loud. I'm gonna pull it back together and try to finish the story, but I'm not happy. Maddie knows I'm incredibly blunt and to the point, and I've always been egging her on to lose weight. Why is she still friends with you? Why does she have anything to do with you? I'm blunt. No, you're rude. And you're disrespectful, and you're talking about things that have nothing to do with you. For some reason, she lost it at me and said, you have some effing stupid priorities. You do? She blocked me on her phone and told most of our friends, we're torn. One half is on her side while the other half is on my side and couldn't get why her boyfriend wanted to date Maddie to begin with. Are those really your friends? Why? Why, oh, why are they your friends? Maddie's own boyfriend and boyfriend called me and told me to eat crap and die, which was way too much. Nothing I did justified that. Was I the a-hole here? I don't think I even need to answer this question at this point, but I'll go ahead and let you know that yes, 100%, 
one million percent, one billion percent, one trillion percent, you are the a-hole. You are such a big a-hole that I'm physically nauseated. Okay, like being in your presence is 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 bad for listening to your words, reading your words is bad for my mental health and you're responsible for that. <sighs> Maddie, I hope she finds some new friends. I hope her boyfriend gets some help with his mental health that has nothing to do with her size or her weight or her looks. And I hope this jack off jacks the hell off somewhere else. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments, but I need to move the heck on. Okay, that's all the posts I have for you today. Please don't forget, we have a playlist of over 90 Am I the A-hole videos up here for you to binge. I hope you like. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.